Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Mastering Data Structures and Algorithms course. In this video, we are going to learn about the data structures, and we are going to discuss what data structures we are going to cover in this course. So, what is data structure? Data structure is a storage that is used to store and organize data. It is a way of arranging data on the computer so that it can be accessed and updated efficiently. Depending on your requirements and, the pro and your project, it is important to choose the right data structure for your project. So consider the, an example of an array of numbers like this. So. Data structures are specialized means of organizing and storing data in computers in such a way that we can perform operations on the stored data more efficiently. There are many data structures uh, and we are going to uh, see uh, that these different data structures in coding. But first, let's discuss where we can see a data structure in real life. Data structure and the, uh, used like an arrays to store the leaderboard of games and apps the, for the champions and they're arranging data and arranging the players in orders for the highest score. So we are using in this case the arrays. Also in image processing, we are using a data structure called matrix or 2D array. However, in the music player, when you want to swipe left or right for the next or the previous music that you are currently playing, so the music player uses the linked list. The history of visited sites are displayed using the stack data structure. Also, the line of people waiting to get through a checkpoint is using the queue. So this is the queue data structure. This is a quick example about the real life and the data structure in real life. How we can see data structures in coding. There are two types of data structures, the linear and the nonlinear. The linear data structures consider the elements are arranged in sequence, one after the other, like array, linked list, stack, and the queue. However, in the nonlinear data structures, the elements in nonlinear data structure are not in any sequence. Example, the graph and the tree. Consider the data structures that we are uh, like an overview and, and uh, a small introduction that we are going to learn about them. The first type is the array. An array is a structure of fixed size, which can hold items of the same data type. It can be an array of integers, an array of floating numbers, and an array of strings or even the characters, like this example. So, arrays are indexed, meaning that random access is possible. So the array operations that we are going to learn also about them is the traverse that going through the elements and print them, the search, searching for an element in the array and by its index, and the update that update the value of an existing element at a given index, and inserting elements and deleting the elements from the array. These are the application the the, the operations that we are going to learn about them in the arrays. Where to see the application of arrays used as building blocks to build other data structures such as array list, heap, hash tables, vectors, and matrices used for different storing uh, sorting algorithms such as inserting, insertion sort, quick sort, bubble sort, and merge sort. That also we are going to discuss them later in the algorithms section in this course. The second type is the matrix. The matrix is a 2D array that also stores the same data type in a matrix way. 
Okay. Also, we are going to learn about this operation, like inserting, updating, deleting, uh, searching, and so on. They are very similar to arrays, but they are to the array, two-dimensional array. Linked lists. A linked list is a sequential structure that consists of a sequence of items in a linear order, which are linked to each other. Hence, you have to access data sequentially and random access is not possible. Linked lists provide a simple and flexible presentation of dynamic sets. Let's consider this following uh, linked list. Mm -hmm. This linked list where the elements are known as nodes. Each node contains a key and a pointer to its successor node, known as next. The attribute named head points to the first element of the linked list, and the last element of the linked list is known as tail. There are various types of linked lists available, like singly linked list, that traversal of item can be done in the forward direction only, like this example. And also we are going to talk about the double linked list and the circular linked list later in this course. But in an example of double linked list, traversal of items can be done in both forward and backward directions. Nodes consist of an additional pointer known as previous, pointing to the previous node. Circle linked list Linked lists are where the previous pointer of the head points to the, the tail and the next pointer to the tail points to the head. Okay. Also, we are going to learn about the linked list operations such as search, insert, and delete. Where to see the applications of linked list used for symbol table management in compiler design and used when switching between the programs like ALT plus TAB, implementing using the circle linked list and such uh, these, these ways that we are going to see in real projects. The stack. A stack is a LIFO, last in, first out. The element placed at, at last can be accessed at first. So the structure can, uh, this structure, this data structure, which can be commonly found in many programming languages. This structure is called stack because it resembles a word, a real word stack, a stack of plates. In like in a kitchen or some uh, in, in, in the kitchen or in your restaurants. So stack operations, we have two basic operations. The push, insert an element to the top of the stack and the pop, delete the topmost element and return it. Also, we are going to learn about the peak, is empty, is full, uh, is full applications and operations. Where to see the stack used for expression evaluation and used to implement functions calls in recursion programming. The queue. A queue is a FIFO, first in, first out. The element placed at first can be accessed at first. This accessed at first. This is the this data structure can be commonly found in many programming language. This data structure is named as Q because it resembles real world Q, which are the people waiting in the Q. So, what are the operations of the Q? Is the in Q inserting an element to the end of the Q and deck, which is deleting the element from the beginning of the queue. Applications of the queue used to manage threads in multi-threading and used to implement the queuing system like priority queues. Also, we are going to learn about the hash tables, the hash function, and so on. But we are not going to go deep now because I don't want to confuse you. These are for the linear data structures, the nonlinear data structures, which are the trees and the graphs. So the first one is the tree. A tree is a hierarchical structure where data is organized hierarchically and are linked together. 
So this data structure is different from linked list, whereas in linked list items are linked in a linear way. Various types of trees have been developed throughout the past decades in order to suit certain applications and meet certain constraints. Some of exa these examples that we are going to learn about them also in data structure and implement them in, in uh, C and Java are the binary search tree, the B tree, tree, red black tree, splay tree, AVL tree, and an array a binary tree. Like the binary search trees and so on. These are very big examples that we are going to work with them. Where to see the binary trees and the applications of trees? The binary tree is used to implement expression parsers and expression solvers. Binary search tree used in many search applications where data are constantly entering and leaving. Heaps are used by JVM, Java Virtual Machine, to store data objects, and the trees used in wireless networking. Also, we are going to talk about the heaps, that they are very similar to the binary tree. The graph. A graph consists of a finite set of vertices or nodes and a set of edges connecting these vertices. The order of a graph in the number is the number of vertices in the graph. So the order of a graph is the number of vertices in the graph, and the size of the graph is the number of edges in the graph. Two nodes are said to be adjacent if they are connected to each other by the same edge. We have two types that we are going to talk about them, which are the directed graph and the undirected graph, where the graph is said to be a directed graph if all the, its edges have a direction indicating what is the start vertex and what is the end vertex, while the undirected graph like this example, is said to be undirected if all the edges have no direction. It can go in both ways between the two vertices. Where to see the graph? Used to represent social media networks. Each user is a vertex. Uh, used to represent web pages and links by, links by the search engines and used to represent locations and routes in GPS. The most commonly used data structure in our life that we experience without, without feeling with them is the graph in social media. So I would like to, uh, to thank you for watching our, video, uh, our videos and uh, our courses. And I want from you to make uh, for us a favor by like, subscribe, and comment to support us making new videos and, con and continue with these free courses and free, uh, free uh, lessons. So I hope you support us to make this year a very good year that, and very productive year that allows us to make every day and upload and publish every day video. This is the challenge of, our, uh, of this, uh, this year. We need to, to publish every day a video. So support us if you want if you want us to make new videos and new lessons.